This is the genesis of There Was an Old Lady when I was first started to think about it. And, uh, you know, you make a few little quick thumbnails just to kind of figure out what you're doing. And, and so this, these were the first little uh, sketches I made for Old Lady. As I was putting the book together, uh, I realized that I might be able to do it with uh, die cut holes, where each time the old lady has swallowed an animal, you would see it through on the next page. You can see here where I circled around it with a red pen, because I think that was the mo moment I decided, this could be a die cut. <laughs> See, so the way I do books, anyway, uh, is that I start with a dummy, which is mainly to explore the art and how it's going to flow through the book. And I did a little miniature dummy in full color, starting with the first page, going on to the last, and it seemed to work very well. It was novel looking, and uh, even at that point, I realized that I could, instead of just uh, uh, using the original rhyme, that I could extend the rhyme by adding on more rhymes as the book evolved. And so basically I had worked out probably 95% of the book in this little two inch by three inch dummy. This is the spider spread and there's the hole in the, in the old lady's stomach and you can see how that works. So basically the entire book has been really worked out in this small size, you know, until the very last, uh, last illustration where she swallows the horse. This is my original manuscript. I mean, this is what I used to sell the book. I thought the die-cut aspect of it was uh, such a, an important part of the concept. It made the book really special. But as I was doing the, the art, I realized, well, listen, I have this shape that's cut out, and it seemed a little hard to me to all of a sudden have a hole in something. And I thought, well, why don't I add other cut-out elements that weren't necessarily cut out, you know, that were two-dimensional, and paste it on. And so it would take the edge off the idea of having an actual hole in a book. And so that's when I started to introduce the, the collage elements. So it kind of evolved when I was doing the finished artwork. I took about a month to do the dummy, three weeks to a month to do this little dummy, and probably the finished artwork took me about 10 months, so it was almost a year. It was kind of a breakthrough book for me, and I felt very strongly about it. And I remember I was telling Gail, my wife Gail, while I was doing it, I said, you know, Gail, this is, this is a really good book. <laughs> and I very, I very rarely say that about my work. I mean, I, I'm always, you know, more or less worried if somebody else is going to like it. You know, but I really felt that I had something special and different when I completed it.